awesome weather today guys, couldn't ask for anything better, which is perfect for the market. And I'm going out to cut the grass now because our um, old neighbor's brother wants his lawnmower back. Why are you looking so sad? You want to come outside? You want to come outside? Come on, let's go outside. Oh, he wants his lawnmower back. Um, we got to borrow it for a long time um, because the brother said that he moved into an apartment and didn't really need it and we could just use it. Um, unfortunately, now he has moved back with his wife or girlfriend and uh, he needs it back. So, um, don't have a lawnmower. Well, we have it right now, but I need to hand it back to him. Ugh, the door is locked. I need to get my shoes. Um, so I'm going to cut the grass now. After that, um, we're going to go and uh, head to the market and, and all that. Where's the keys? And where's my shoes I used to wear for that kind of work? I'm going to see Sebastian today and his brother Silas and also his Casper, which I saw yesterday. We're going to be barbecuing over there and then also popping off over to the market. I'm going to show you a lot more from there. And uh, hopefully it's going to be a nice fun day. And I still haven't got together and made these things here. Oh, someone said I was a hypocrite because I f first mentioned that I didn't want to make like uh, a whole stack of boards and spit them out like a factory. But now I'm making quite a few decks. Uh, excuse me, I haven't spent over six hundred dollars on moles just to um, have them standing around and not making anything out of them. Uh, but I'm not spitting out forty or ninety decks a month. This here is about number 30 of decks here, 15 here, I made 15 now, then I made 3 from the very first mill before I got all the other ones, so that's 39 decks in total I made since I had the moles. So um, besides this, it's my company, I can make whatever I want, I don't have to tell any excuse or anything, so um, stuff that. Ah. I've got cramp on my foot. First, I need to move all Sally's toys and all her bones. I don't want to get that in the lawnmower. But talking a lawnmower, um, you can't probably see over next to the bin. We have um, some sort of like um, um, a cutter, and then we have back here. We actually have this machine there. That's the one we're trying to get up to a repairman and see if he can fix for us because it does work. Um, it's just the clipper part which is faulty. Um, the pulley keeps um, ripping itself to pieces, so that's not very nice at all. So yeah, but um, I better get some music in and get started cutting grass. Righty guys, a mini unboxing here, but this is nothing for me. This is something for you guys to be able to get. So it's a handful of decks from Alan. Got one here, look at that. Put that down there. Second one. Nicely waved, and he wrapped all of them, so I'm just going to take them one at a time. Beautiful rose here, and nice beautiful wave as well. I love the wave style, definitely. The roses are beautiful as well, though. Just going to show you all of it. That's funny. It's a nice one. They're all nice. He does such a good job. Um, we're not done yet. Look at this one. These are all going to be for sale, guys, and there's three different heights. There's low, medium, and high. And, uh, of course, I will write down which is which. I can see it easily as well. That's nice. Different sword. Instead of having it like that, it's like this this time. I really like this one. Oh, I've got a fly on my back. Very warm today. Very nice. Another wave. Pretty. And we've got one more deck, last one, and it's a goo one, I call them goo because it looks like a lava alarm coming up. So and we got like what, three, six, nine, eleven decks, and let me just show them from the top. These will all go for sale on my web shop, and if there's anything you're interested in already now, uh, let me know. Uh, I will show you which is low, high, and medium, so that's awesome, but thank you so far to Alan for painting that. Of course he's going to get paid for each egg I sell, a certain amount of the money goes to Alan for doing this awesome job, it's only fair, and um, yeah. So um, I just finished cutting the lawn, and I'm about to clean the lawn mower, so we can hand it back to um, the guy we bought it from. And then after that we uh, need to clove some wood, I think that's what you call it, or chop up some wood because we're going to do a small bonfire or a casper tonight, so I need to chop some wood up, yay! 
So uh, we don't know when we're going to cut the grass next. I really hope that we can get a lawnmower very, very soon because it took quite a bit of time to get this grass looking like it does now compared to last year when we moved in. It was like... Not much the effort. What? Not, not, not so much the time and effort to take into consideration as well. It was like a forest when we moved in. Yeah, it looked like uh, it was just weed everywhere. Some not people didn't even bother. The people who lived here before us didn't even bother keeping the garden. It looked so horrible. You can go back and see it for about a year. About yeah. August last year, you can see it. Uh, that's where you can see when we start moving in. Catch some other videos from last year, you'll see that. Still hope that our neighbor will help us trim down the top of that tree there and those over there. Just to make like an arch down there. Because that would give us sun in here all evening. Because we don't get much sun in the evening. Come 5 o'clock or something like 4 or 5 o'clock, it starts to get shady in here. Which is not nice. You can see it already starting there. So, yeah. Alright, um... I need to take these decks in because I want to give them one more clear coat after and also I have to put a little bit of signature on the top. So uh, thank you again Alan and they look awesome as always. Yeah! So Lomo has cleaned up a little bit and um, yeah we're ready to take that back even though we don't like it because we don't be able to cut our grass then. So Lomo has cleaned up a little bit and um, yeah we're ready to take that back even though we don't like it because we don't be able to cut our grass then. Um, but, uh, what else? I was about to say something. Oh, I need to go and start my upload. But, um, Paul thinks that he heard, um, the guy told me, which we go and hand the llama back to, that he fixed my moped. Um, but I'm just going to find out. In case of this, I'm going to have that home again, so I can ride that. Uh, I can use that just if, if we need some milk, I could pop over and get that. I have, like, a, a, a case you can put on the back of the scooter. Which is cool, so um, yeah, I need to uh, see if he fixed that. If Casey has fixed that, I need to find my helmet upstairs somewhere. I think I know where it is, so. Look at the horses, they are enjoying themselves. Hello you, pretty girl. Alright guys, focus please. A rare sight, Sheila Sebastian Casper. <laughs> Everybody's here, the whole skate crew. Woo. Skate crew. You put on weight. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> Yeah, we're heading over to the market now. I'm gonna show you some stuff over there. And you got a greasy finger on the lens. Yay! <laughs> Weak. Sebastian actually used to be very good at the condemn as well. Yeah, you still got it, bro! Yeah! You still got it! <laughs> Yo, so we're chilling with a tiny, tiny little bonfire. We have some drinks out here and just having a relaxed evening. And Silas is in the way. <laughs> But no, it's nice and chill, just relaxing, having fun. I didn't film anything from the market today because we were more busy being over here barbecuing. We only went over there quickly and had a quick look. Then heading back home here. Have a lovely evening, lots of food. And having music going, which is awesome. Can't even see you, Sebastian. I can't even see the drinks and lights and all that, so yeah. Alrighty guys, um, basically it's just me and Casper which is still awake and everybody else is going to sleep And it is, what time is it now? Let me just see I got um, wrapped up in a little, in a little, uh, it's like two I'll do this, we'll see Two on our AM, AM. The fire's going, I just put a little bit more wood on um, But yeah, me and Casper are just still awake and just sitting and chilling it's very nice and having some great time. Um, I did feel a bit sad I didn't film anything on the market because I did wanted to go and do the claw machine and all that. But it was very quiet over there today because Thursday was a holiday or a holy day, um, a bank holiday, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that was very packed. And today has been a normal working day, and so all people who had to be working had to go to work. And that was why it was kind of like empty today and it wasn't really had the same feel on it. So maybe tomorrow. Um, well, I'll come over here again and maybe then I can do all the fun thing. I'm also gonna do some funny stuff with the pooter and yay. Just chilling. Yo, what up Casper? What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing about. Just chilling. Yeah, but it's been a great, great day and uh, had so much food. Oh my gosh. To start with, I didn't think we had any meat at all, but it was like food just kept coming and it was just crazy and we had to put uh, quite a bit in uh, the fridge hey we still got the meat we can do later if you feel hungry yes. yeah awesome 
But uh, I'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow because we are just gonna sit and chill and listen to some music now and look at the bonfire, which is always nice. It's like magical staring into those flames. Oh. So yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace, guys. Yo, having a free barbecue at Casper right now. Yo, and um, we're just relaxing a little bit. We went to the market over there on the other side of those houses, and. Uh, there's already a lot of people, even though this is the first day, and um, 